So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new and cool bubble effect with using Cinema 4D. Guys, I'm using 2024 version, but you can use anyone. Okay, so guys, now I will teach you how to create this type of effect. Right, it's really simple and best tutorial for beginners. So stop and guys, I create new project. So firstly, guys, I'm going to take a cube, this one, and change cube size. So guys, X1, I like 50. Y 25, Z1 50. So closer and go to on here, display, select all shading lines. So guys, I increase segments. So guys, segments I like uh, 25 and guys, Y axis like a 10 and Z1 25. Enter, yes. Okay, so now guys, create smoothness. So fill it check and fill it radius zero. Actually, I like one and subdivision. I like two, yes. So guys, that's my cube. Okay, so now guys, I take cloner and select this cube and make child with cloner. So guys, select your cloner and change spacing. So decrease spacing, this one like uh, 55 and this one 55. Yes, and now guys, I increase count. So increase count like uh, I take 10 and third one 10 yes okay that's my simple shape so guys height lines like this okay so guys all is good and now guys select your cloner and right click go to on simulation tag and i apply cloth cloth tag check and go to on here i like balloon guys i create balloon type of your animation so balloon check and see that's my over pressure i like 10 and time i like 20 f 20f yes and see guys that's my mapping so guys right click on this cloner and go to on here this is my other tag and i apply vertex map yes so guys go to on here and i like this time spherical field check yeah and guys i increase size size like a 200 yeah and again go to on here balloon and see guys that's my map so simple drag and drop in this vertex map like this yeah okay so now guys this time go to on here mix animation and with pain i like uh, 25 and go to on here okay all is good yes okay so guys select this this one that's my cloner and go to on here guys i change this one that's my ramping so ramping strength change is too much Guys, you can take strength like a 10 and 15. It's dependent on your work. So, but guys, now 15, I take 15. So now, guys, I create animation. So select this spherical field and right click, go to on animation tag and I apply vibrator, vibrate check and enable position check. Guys, position, I like 400 and third one 400 and frequency, I like a 0 0.4, yes. So guys, I increase frame, left frame, I like 300, 300 frame is good for me and play. Yeah, see guys, that's my bubbly effect. So closer. Okay, so guys, take lots of time for baking and guys, stop. Guys, I change little bit, change setting. Okay, so guys, it's too much. Stop. Guys, see, that's my bubbly effect. It's too much. So guys, go to a back and again, go to a spherical field. So guys, strength, I like 10. And guys, change some setting on this one. So see guys, that's my surface. And blending, I like one. Enter. And guys, see that's my friction is good. So guys, thickness. Thickness, zero. And thickness, I like five. Thickness, five. And mass, I like three. Yeah, that's it guys. Okay, see guys, that's my simple setting. Balloon. And guys, I don't need this soft body. So guys go to on here. Okay, so guys all is good. And guys now I create baking. So guys see that's my catch object check. And also guys 
I will change gravity. So stop, delete this big and clear catch it check and go to our mode and screen. So guys go to our simulation and screen. See guys that's my gravity. Gravity I like zero. Yes, gravity I like zero. And again click on here, balloon effect and go to on catch object check. Okay, so guys, my baking is finished. And now, guys, I show you my animation. So, play. Yeah. Right? See, guys, it's my bubbly effect. Right? It's looking really beautiful. Okay, so guys, next one. I apply a beautiful cloth texture. So, go to one create and go to one load material. Guys, you can download this material link in description. So, select and open. See, guys, that's my material. And texture is missing. So, guys, select your color. And I apply re actually re-upload texture like this and go to on here. So guys roughness, go to on here. See guys that's my roughness check and go to on here normal. So I apply normal texture and lastly height displacement select yes. See guys that's my texture and apply to on cloner like this. Yeah, beautiful, right? See guys, that's my beautiful material texture. And guys, now next one, I apply this time Cinema 4D Studio Light. So go to one merge. So go to one back. And guys, I have Cinema 4D Studio Light. Select this one. So select floor and background and down. Yes. Okay, so lastly guys, I change render setting. I like standard. Guys, you can use anyone, Redshift and standard, but guys, this is my tutorial. I like this one. Standard and MB occlusion. See guys, that's my maximum ray length. I like uh, 25. Accuracy 100%. So go to an global emission and catch. I like low for fast render. And T select best. Yes. And guys, max level I like 2. So go to on save. Format I like JPEG sequences. So go to on here desktop and create new folder like this and take any file name yes so go to an output i like all right and go to on film i like full hd frame like this and lastly guys i take camera camera check so guys select your camera and guys set your camera angle and little bit back so go to a back and play okay so guys my work is finished and now guys i show you my one frame render so go to on here and click on here yeah see guys that's my beautiful render right it's looking really beautiful okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys so if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you